if anything, I've got the other bias. I tend to be overcautious about uh, some of my research. But I'll give you an example of overconfidence, which was the um, this group out of uh, Seattle was making estimates of how many births uh, and deaths occur in India. And rather than relying on the United Nations and the Census Department, which almost everyone else does, they had the overconfidence thinking, oh, we've got a better model. And they produced a paper which was published that said that, well, basically it had 4 million fewer births in India and 6 million fewer births in China. So their paper got rid of 10 million children in Asia, just like that. And what was that a result of? It was overconfidence. It was this faith that, oh, we've got a really good model. Um, and it should have been carefully checked. We've seen this story before, the overconfidence in the Enron models, the overconfidence in the, what led to the big stock market crash of, uh, of 2008. So there's always room for skepticism. And wherever you're doing your work saying, is this right? What's wrong with it? Are always healthy questions. Mm -hmm.